These all look so delectable. How does anyone choose? Ah, uh, carefully, sir. There's some exquisite new choices in the 23.2 menu. I definitely recommend the day-night theme from Africa. Interesting. Do you have anything that's, like, fresh? Like, fresh, fresh? I think we might have something for you. If you're looking for totally new features or important improvements, version 23.2 of the Android Sport Library doesn't disappoint. There's two new additions to the Sport Library family, Support Vector Drawable and Support Animated Vector Drawable. These bring the power and flexibility of Vector Drawables to all API 7 and higher devices, and Animated Vector Drawables to all API 11 and higher devices. I expect smaller APKs from you as you all replace multiple PNG assets with a single vector drawable. AppCompat is already taking advantage of vector drawables in this release to save everyone some space, and it provides a handy source compat attribute for image views and image buttons, making it easy to use your new vector drawables. Check out our blog post for all the details on how this works. Now that's not all that changed with AppCompat though. In addition to the current theme.appcompat and theme.appcompat.lite, there's a new theme.appcompat.daynight theme specifically for API 14 and higher devices. Now making a UI that adapts to the time of day just means picking the right theme and testing thoroughly. You'll be able to manually change between day and night at the app level or activity level with new methods in AppCompat Delegate, perfect for testing or even as a setting you expose to your users. Another new feature in 23.2 is the addition to the Android design support library. Bottom sheets. Now, this coordinator layer behavior attaches to any view, allows you to drag it open and closed, peek, or hide completely. There's even a bottom sheet dialog and bottom sheet dialog fragment for easily styling a dialog as a bottom sheet. Magical. Now, if you have a media playing app, you'll be happy to know that this release also includes Media Browser Service Compat and Media Browser Compat, allowing you to use previously only Lollipop and higher APIs all the way back to API 4. Whether you're looking for an easy way to connect your media playback service to your UI, or looking to integrate with Android Auto and Android Wear, this is the API to look into. Of course, there's another Android out there, Android TV. The Lean Back Support Library's Guided Step Fragment, which lets you guide users through a series of steps, has received a number of enhancements. The blog has all the details, if that's your thing, as well as information on all the other new features in version 23.2. So, have you made your selection? Uh, yeah, I think I have. I'm gonna go for all of it. Thank you. There's actually only one person who's made it through that ordeal successfully. 